your presence in this space is no mere coincidence. It's a meticulous and intentional connection designed to deliver the profound message of Apostle Joshua Selman directly to you. This message goes beyond being a mere source of blessings. It's a dynamic force, sparking the flame of greatness within you. Open your heart expansively and permit your mind to fully immerse in the opulence of this transformative diet. Before we venture further, I extend a sincere invitation for you to actively participate in this meaningful content. Engage by expressing your gratitude. Extend a virtual thumbs up to the video, share its wisdom with those in your circles who could find it beneficial, and become a subscriber to our channel for an uninterrupted flow of enlightening content. Your support is not only acknowledged, but also holds a pivotal role in our continual endeavor to disseminate these profound messages as you tune in to absorb this distinctive message. How do you get up from a dream and do exactly what you saw? The kind of dreams we're having now, if you do everything in your dream, you would have been dead by now because our dreams are so weak and not purified by the power of God. You dream and you see yourself killing your mother. If you get up and do the same thing, would she die? You, you see how Satan has hijacked our dreams because of insensitivity. May there be restoration this night. You may say, okay, apostle, I'm not inclined towards the prophetic. I may not have the hearing eye and the seeing ear, but a dream is a blessing that God gave every man. All you need to do is to sleep. Please help them. Give us that scripture. Let's finish it, please. Now, verse 15. The Bible says, and he was there as he was directed by the dream until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled that which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, that out of Egypt I have called my son. Supernatural experiences. I shared with you my encounters when... In 2013 I think it was preparing and hoping just trying to see if it was possible to come down to Abuja and the word of the Lord just came with a very serious encounter a plane that lifted from Zaria it was written E and I on his way to Abuja just when it was about to land it crashed that one the dream was straightforward are we together it was the reason why in 2018 when the lord came to me and began to speak to me about moving to abuja it took me three years i struggled with the voice of god verifications upon verifications because destinies will be part of that decision there are decisions you don't make carelessly except you are selfish hallelujah there are people who just get up and say i feel like leaving my job what happens to your five children? How do you feel like leaving your job? I feel like driving my wife. I feel like having three more children. You see, we, we, we don't listen to God and you find out that the three more children you have are the ones that give you headache because God said, stop, you didn't hear. Are we together? It's an uncomfortable message tonight, but open up your heart to listen. Please open up your heart to listen because we are going to pray tonight. And one of the prayer points will be purify my experiences so that there are no confusions. Every access that the devil has to my dreams and my visions because I don't have time. I'm not teaching on this. I'm just teaching it as a byproduct of the leadership of the spirit. Otherwise, I would have told you there is something called lying visions. Many today are sincere victims of this a combination of your emotions and an advantage that demons have taken and many people are being manipulated today it is maritally financially there are people in all kinds of confusions this is why we need to understand the accuracy and the leadings of god there are lying spirits that spoke to people in dreams your father is about to die. That company is yours. And the boy just sits down and is waiting every day. I know what I had. 
there are people today you see by reason of what i do i am amazed at the things people do and the confidence they have they tell you that god spoke to me and when you vet them you will truly know they had from the spirit except that by judging from the lens of scripture it was something else but as far as their conviction is concerned they had the right to be that convicted because of the clarity of what came to them but when you judge it from the lens of scripture it was not god please listen carefully and you can be a prophet and still be in error just follow me i'm a good pilot we're flying high but we'll land safe in the name of jesus christ supernatural encounters I know somebody that I once prayed and ministered deliverance to a lady this lady got up and started running out of the house going to some river and you know and she said voices speak do you know how many people have committed suicide today and they will tell you a voice said kill yourself kill your wife no you judge the speakings of God against the integrity of Scripture but ladies and gentlemen if you have not opened up your heart to the realm of dreams and visions there is a dimension of the leadings of God that you may be robbing yourself of and we're going to pray tonight some of you do not have access to dreams it's a blessing and a privilege to all the saints in Christ and some of you our dreams have been corrupted all kinds of spirits have manipulated our dreams we lie down and we get up and have all kinds of leadings. We follow those leadings sincerely, but the end result shows that it was not God. Is someone learning? Number four. How do we access the voice of God? What are the many ways that the Bible teaches? What is one of them? Number three, supernatural encounters. Number four, are you ready now? One of the ways that God leads us in principle is through counsel from authorities, especially spiritual authorities. Please write it down. Counsel. You can access the leadings of God by opening up yourself to receive counsel from spiritual authorities. Fathers, mentors, elders, men with results and experience, they all form part of this group and they have earned the right to be able to give counsel. Proverbs chapter 1 from verse 1. Follow me patiently as we read. The proverb of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, verse 2. It says, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, Three, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment and equity. Verse four, to give subtlety to the simple and to the young man knowledge and discretion. That is the intent of the book of Proverbs now. It says the wise man will hear and increase learning and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. Verse six, to understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. Seven, it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Eight, my son, a father is speaking to his son now. Hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother. Is someone learning? Verse 9, for they shall be an ornament of grace unto your head and chains about your neck. That means they will bring you honor. My son, if sinners entice thee, this is counsel coming from a father, consent thou not. Next verse. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lock privily for the innocent without cause. This is a young man naively exploring life and destiny and the father is saying these are the options you will find on the way when you see these options manifest remember the counsel of a father he said consent thou not 12. let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole as those that go down to the pit we shall find all precious substance and we shall fill our houses with spoil 
14 cast in thy lot among us let us all have one purse 15 now we're reading to 19 he says my son walk not thou in the way with them god is speaking to a son through the wisdom of authority refrain thy foot from their path he says verse 16 for their feet run to do evil and make haste to shed blood 17 surely in vain is the net spread in the sight of any bird do you know what that means when you put a a um a, what they call it a net a bird has had access to a higher altitude and it can see he's saying one who is open to counsel is like a bird that is higher than the limitation that put that that the devil the trap that he puts for you verse 18 and they lay wait for their own blood and lock privily for their own lives the last verse now 19 it says so are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain which taketh away the life of the owners thereof counsel from a father to his son this is my counsel to you as you sojourn you are going to meet this and that and that options but every time you are presented with these options the lord is speaking to you through my voice can i tell you many people have been saved from disaster because of counsel counsel is powerful counsel is powerful there is nobody who should ever outgrow the need to be counseled are we together again this is where the pride of a generation comes in and then what the bible calls vain glory we feel because i have achieved this and that and that we are not open to counsel counsel is very very important every time i have the honor of meeting any of our fathers of faith or anybody who has accomplished something that i consider to be a voice or a stakeholder in my life i listen very carefully i ask intelligent questions and my heart is opened to receive to hear what they say even if i don't exactly see things that way at least i give it a listening ear oh do ministry this way do this this way okay i listen albeit i will go to god in prayer but i i, I respect results when i hear counsel from spiritual authorities when you are open to receive counsel then you will access the leadings of god sometimes god will not come directly it may not be through a dream it may be through one wise counsel gentlemen the way you are doing ministry you are not going to get credibility this way and you will not rise take away this take away that do ministry with integrity this is how it is done i remember a gentleman who came and met me and this guy had posters as if he was coming out for election i said what is this he said i'm beginning a ministry i said from nowhere my brother come let me save you pain what in the world is this that's not how we do ministry you just come out from nowhere and carry posters and keep giving people by the roadside and believe that you will do ministry no that's not how it is done and i showed him from scripture that when god leads people he leads them step by step and he gives them territories little by little he said lest you occupy an empty territory that you do not have the capacity to feel you see that when god moves people he moves people by growth little by little you will see a young man that has never bought a bicycle he just comes and apostle i saw a range rover somewhere i know god is a god of speed speed is not foolishness you go gradually do you know what it means to maintain a car at that level how much do you have see this is how and men of god we have to be wise and help people don't just pray about everything because they say you should pray about it can be a chance to give them wisdom hallelujah one time a gentleman met me, not, not in Abuja, and he said he wanted to use a particular stadium for a program. And I just laughed. He said, wow, what a powerful zeal and revelation. But you are about to pay the price. Most likely you will be in the prison. Most likely. I can already plot the graph of the pathway of that foolishness because he will most likely borrow money. He will most likely meet liars. He will not even know which organization. He does not even have the influence to confront the authorities that will give him access to the use of the place. So most likely, it's not prophecy. Most likely, just by the pathway of wisdom, you can know that that gentleman is about to destroy his ministry. A 
apostle I know what I saw yes respect what you saw but bring it to the table of counsel counsel is powerful let me tell you I used to criticize men of God years ago when I started not not in a sarcastic way but I just used to talk you know the zeal of trying to establish doctrine it was an old woman that came one time after listening to me she just called me and said listen my son you are going very far and by the time you start talking about men of God you have not gotten to their level to know the challenges and the pressures that they have so manage this with wisdom that was a big deliverance in my life big deliverance you will never hear me talk out of sarcasm I may challenge wrong doctrines but my honor for the body of Christ for authority for men and women of God is one of the greatest key that has opened my credibility across the body of Christ because of one counsel is God speaking to someone you may be running around trying to meet prophets whereas your own mother carries the wisdom of the ancient you have not sat down to say mama I know you're a CEO flying across the world but could it be one counsel mama can give you she didn't go to school I know but the wisdom of God resides with her is someone learning open up yourself for counsel and when you are listening to people who have results counseling you even if you don't agree keep quiet respect and honor their speakings you can go back and cross check and edit like the Berean but at the point never sit with someone who has results and be discussing as colleagues it is foolishness please hear what I'm telling you don't say I'm a doctor we are all doctors you just graduated you are yet to get a job this man has been a professor of medicine for 23 years maybe before you were born as I, you know I, I, there's something I need and the person is watching you when great people keep quiet and watch you start praying because it means that they have seen that there's no hope talking to you again I hope someone is getting wisdom in church listen to what I'm telling you for some of you you have ignored an opportunity to rise because when you sit down with the great, you sit down with pride and arrogance. Let me hear, you know, let me tell you this. I don't claim I know so much, but it is stupid for you to say I don't know anything. No. There are many people I talk with in ministry and the rest. And sometimes I'm speaking with them. This person does not have any results. And yet you see the person just talking. You are suffering. Doors are not opening. You think all it takes to ministry is preaching? Good luck. <laughs> a mediocre world is very small you can go around it in a moment and not see a need to expand your mind are we together counsel for someone you need to write a list of all the things that are not working in your life and trust God for grace why is my business not working I've been in ministry I'm a person of integrity and I love the Lord don't just say pray for me I know if you declare one word all the trouble your foolishness just goes with one word you need counsel it took you years to build that kind of mindset what makes you believe one prophetic declare declaration will just take away losing you, there are wrong relationships you need to cut away from there is a reorientation and an approach to life and ministry and business you need to learn the law of honor there are many things you need to learn what makes you believe one prophetic prayer will just magically take you there no some of you have had access to great people and you abused it because of foolishness you need more than prayer you need counseling I'm hard tonight, ba. Sorry, oh, but listen, listen. It's from a heart of love. This is what should happen in the body of Christ. I am one believer who believes in translating spirituality to a context that improves your life, where you can go back and bring results, results that are potent, results that work. For someone, you may need to call someone and say, I'm so sorry. I 
I downplayed your counsel in spite of the results that you have given my sincere apologies even if you do not agree with great men do not fight them respect their opinions you can live quietly are we together now subscribe and allow the radiant light of divine wisdom to years ago a man came to me and he wanted me to pray and um, it was about a financial issue because his children he was not able to pay for their their needs and he was getting frustrated and he said apostle you, you need to help me and I was trying to explain to him I said no 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 and then he made a statement he said you don't know what it means to pay the school fees of two children then I looked at him with pity mixed with honor <laughs> if two children are giving you this kind of headache and you see somebody leading a ministry like this and you are saying to you you don't know what it means to pay the school fees of two children <laughs> there is nothing sustainable that is by luck just have that at the back of your mind you can have short-term success by luck but there is nothing sustainable that is by luck. Believe me. Maybe God is speaking to a politician here. You are about to start and someone has been in politics. Even if the person has not succeeded, he has failed enough to be able to help you. Respect failure as much as you respect success. In fact, fear people who have not failed. They are too, they are too innocent to counsel you. There is a requisite level of failure you must carry as a badge to balance your understanding in counseling people. Believe me, anybody who comes to you with 100 over 100 is still a child in the school of success. There, there is a requisite scar that gives you a balanced perspective. Have you failed enough to be able to talk to me? Don't tell me all the stories. I just prayed and the person was healed. I just spoke and they gave me an auditorium. You are not the person to counsel me. I respect you. Carry your results until you learn the other side of life. My goodness, there are people that have failed enough and they can talk to you. When they talk to you, they utter from their pain. Their pain has been turned to wisdom. Every sentence is a life lesson. When you find failures, who have become successful respect them beyond the results you see a man who tells you i came to abuja here and for five years i did ministry wrongly i met false prophets i dappled my hands into so many things but thank god today i'm walking in integrity sit down quietly with a notebook and learn how to do ministry right a woman who tells you i have been barren for 10 years now god gave me three sets of twins forget the twins and learn wisdom don't just respect crowns respect scars the wise respect both scars and crowns can i encourage someone your failure is still an asset don't throw it archive it it will be one of the qualifiers for your speaking to people tomorrow ah god is speaking to someone tonight help that woman please Apostle, I have cried. I have failed in life. I know what it means to be an irresponsible father. Don't throw that experience. Archive it. One day you will use from that wisdom and mentor an arrogant young man who thinks life is so easy. Most times when we are starting out in life, because of the leverage of prayer, the prophetic, or generally life just playing games with you you can believe life is so easy and you are wondering so why are people crying like this i just got married and three months it's been so rosy in fact my wife is the best thing that has happened to me and you go online and embarrass yourself and someone who has been married for 15 years he said may god help you <laughs> after two years you just turn and start saying life is unpredictable all this this unwise things that people do I am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings, lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us, as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. We staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word, and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey, and may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel, and explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts, and may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.